Hey, what's going on everybody? Brian Mead here. Going to do a, uh, a deck profile of my Odd Eyes Pendulum Magician deck. Uh, as you can see, I've got my YCS Origins mat here. Arch Phoenix Centric. Uh, this was the mat that was available to all the entrants at, uh, at YCS Origins. Pretty cool little thing. Um, if you haven't heard about the tournament, you know, it was just speaking as a player, uh, it was really cool to see. Um, the voices of Pegasus, Maximilian Pegasus and Joey Wheeler there. I got to meet them. That was a lot of fun. And uh, they actually opened up the tournament. So it really gave it kind of a Duel's Kingdom kind of feel. And anyway, uh, without further ado, we're going to get right into the profile here. And I'll kind of give a little bit of explanation. So get my ultis out here in front. Three copies of Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon. He's really like the heart and soul of this deck. He's amazing in this deck. Um... There's plenty of eights, so it's not hard to pendulum summon him. You can get a lot of advantage with him. So I really, really enjoy him. He also leads into OTKs if you haven't played this deck. One copy of Skull Combat Joker and one copy of Monkey Board, because they only let us have one each, which is probably even more than they should last have. Uh, three copies of Pendulum Sorcerer. Absolutely amazing card. One copy of Lizdra. Thanks to my buddy Chris Willett, I'm gonna get me my Super Lizra. Uh, two Odd Eyes uh, Performable Unicorns, one Odd Eyes Performable Light Phoenix. Light Phoenix is mostly for the name. The Unicorn, though, is amazing, leads to OTKs with its effect. Um, letting you boost Odd Eyes to ridiculous amounts. Three copies of Oaf Dragon Magician. Oaf Dragon is a nice low scale, but more importantly, it gets back a lot of the stuff to your hand, which leads you to more and more advantage. Three copies of Dragon Pit Magician, got the back row destroyer and nice high scale at eight. One copy of Wisdom Eye because we only allowed one, still an amazing card. And one copy of Noble Dragon Magician. Um, this actually is really awesome in here. You can use it with, you, know, you can use it to get out the Odd Eyes um, Synchro, the Meteor Burst Dragon, but you can also use it to get to um, Everybody's favorite, Draco. So, <laughs> if you can bring out Ignister with him, using him and uh, Light Phoenix, it's really good. One copy of Magical Abductor, uh, massive search ability. Even though you can't search her, she can search everything, so she's pretty good. Two copies of Magispector Raccoon Bambuku, and three copies of Kieran. Kieran is so amazing in this deck that he makes just running the Bambukus only to search the Kieran. Uh, logical, and then you can use Kieran to bounce Raccoon back, which can just mean more Kieran's on top of Kieran's. He's great to uh, use as a discard fodder later on. He's, he's just a great card. Uh, three copies of Max C because everybody's special summons. Into the spells, we've got two copies of Scott Iris and one Terraforming. Sad, it's common, but what can you do? Uh, one copy of Odd Eyes Fusion. Just like an MVP card, man. You bring out, you bring out the uh, the Vortex Dragon. It's usually GG. Uh, three copies of Pendulum Call. Uh, to search out magicians. Two copies of Ignite Reload. Uh, it's really just a upstart goblin. In this, you don't minus off of it, which is really nice. Uh, two copies of Mystical Space Typhoon and one copy of Ragiki. Does it for the main deck. Then, uh, side deck, we've got one copy of Otter's Rebellion Dragon, one copy of Giant Hand, one copy of Honor Arc, one copy of Abyss Dweller, one Red Eyes Flare Metal Dragon, one Ignister, one Beast Eyes. Uh, actually, this isn't a bad card, you know, you get over like uh, Dark Destroyer and stuff with it, it's just really nice. One copy of Beyond. One copy of Acid. Uh, this actually was huge for me at YCS. Um, using the Bambukus and occasionally the Liz Draw going into a rank three that can get uh, rid of Dark Destroyer or a lot of other problem cards is a really, really amazing thing, especially after like the Raccoons have like already searched you out Kirins and you have nothing left to do with them. One copy of Vortex Dragon. One copy of Naruto, one copy of Emin Illusion Magician, um, 
this is the only change that I made post YCS. Unfortunately, I didn't have an Evan Illusion Magician at YCS, but I do now, so he's awesome in here. And he was good enough that I was just like, I'm gonna put him in the profile because if I was running this now, that I would be using him. Uh, one copy of uh, Magister, one copy of Adaz Absolute Dragon, and one copy of Meteor Burst Dragon. Uh, Meteor Burst Dragon is just so great, especially against like Cosmo decks. Okay. And then um, side, we got two copies of Lecter. This really deals with a mirror match or any, uh, pretty much any match that is, is Pendulums. Um, can give you just a lot of advantage because uh, Pendulum Monsters in the field can't activate their effects. Um, so like if you're playing a mirror match, this can just shut your opponent down. It's also a nice little four, so you can still Pendulum summon it out and get more plays off of it that way. Two copies of Denko Senka. Um, if you're playing against any of those Demise decks, Denko's amazing. Denko's just amazing in, in general. And a nice little four for Synergy. One copy of Gamma Seal, um, because it's Gamma Seal and it's amazing. It's easy to tribute off your opponent's stuff and I'm targeting and get over them. Three copies of Iron Wall, because Cosmos are a thing. Three copies of Mask Restrict, because Monarchs are a thing. Uh, two copies of Flying Sea, which is absolutely amazing in this deck um, against like BAs, where you can special summon it to their side of the field and use Kieran, bounce Flying Sea back to your hand, smack them in the face, on their turn you summon the Mike C again, or excuse me, Flying Sea again. And then finally, two copies of Twin Twisters, um, because Backward Destruction is awesome, and if you need to get some Discard Father, there's usually a uh, Magician, Odd Eyes or a raccoon that you can discard. So I've actually switched these out of the main deck and side deck several times. I've just decided more recently that the uh, MST has served me better in game ones than Twin Twisters do. Twin Twisters, sometimes I'll even just swap direct in game two and just put the Twin Twisters directly in and take the MSTs out. So anyway, that is my profile. Uh, I hope you guys liked it. And uh, if you haven't given this deck a chance, Go ahead and please do. It's a lot of a lot of fun to play. Um, don't know how much longer we're gonna have these guys because <laughs> there is a ban list on the horizon. But there you go. Hope you liked it. Um, make sure to give me a comment down there. Let me know what you guys think. I always love hearing back from you. I'll get another profile up later this week with DDDs, and uh, hope you guys enjoy that. Until then, take it easy.